Hey everyone, First Order here, and in this video I want to talk about Battlefront 2 clone customization and what I think should be added into the game to make it, well, more unique. So uh, let's get started. It's only three points really, and the three points that I'm going to bring up will make the game last longer to some. You will see what I'm talking about in my next video, which this is kind of like a part one to a part two. Tomorrow's video will talk about Battlefront 2 loot crate and what they can add into the loot crates to make the experience more fun. So this is kind of part one, and tomorrow will be part two. Anyway, let's get on to these three points. First, I want to start with something that I think a lot of people will agree with, and that is personal marking customization. We all, well, I don't know if everyone, but a lot of people have watched the Clone Wars, and every clone in there, well, most of every major clone has unique markings to their clone to make them unique to, well, their selves. I'll put up some markings that are my favorite throughout the series. Imagine being able to customize your own clone trooper with your own personal markings, making that clone trooper yours. Or if you want to take inspiration from one of your favorite clone troopers like Fives or Echo or Rex, you can even have their markings in the game and make your character Fives or Echo. That would be a lot of fun and make the experience of Battlefront 2 Clone Wars era a lot more interesting. I feel like this is a major missed opportunity, not only for the loot crate system, but for this game in a total. Like while watching the Naboo feed gameplay, everyone's a shiny. Everyone's new, everyone's white, just brand new shiny. No battle marks, no wearing of the armor, nothing. It's just brand new shiny armor. So imagine having your own marking into the game to make that clone your clone. Not just another standard assault trooper or standard officer or standard specialist. Make that specialist you, not a clone. Make it you what only you can have. They could break the markings up into multiple things like a helmet marking, a torso marking, a shoulder markings, leg markings. So it's literally you rather than just another standard clone trooper. Anyway, I would love to see markings in the game, but I see why they might not want to do that. Anyway, let's move on to the second point. Alternate skins for classes. I know you can't go with alternate skins for every class, like for example, the assault trooper. That is a standard clone trooper. There is no other alternate skin for Assault Trooper. But for a specialist and officer, I would love to see it. The officer is the one I really want an alternate skin because, well, to be honest, I dislike a lot the officer skin currently in Battlefront 2. I feel like it's very out of place seeing an officer that's supposed to be in a ship just running around the battlefront shooting at droids. Like, that wasn't in the Clone Wars. That rarely happened. It only really happened when droids attacked their spaceship. And well, this is on the ground, this is foot on the ground battle. This isn't in the spaceship. So instead, I'd love to see an alternate skin that gives you an officer clone trooper, similar to Commander Fox's armor, Captain Rex, Commander Cody, just something to signify that I'm an officer without being a actual ship officer. I want my own clone officer. I feel like it's just a little odd seeing that. It's similar to the stormtrooper without a helmet because just it doesn't really work with the whole atmosphere of the Clone Wars because an officer is rarely seen like that on the battlefront. Anyway, the final point is battalions. I know a lot of people want this and I know the battlefront devs have actually spoke up about this. I'd be okay with it not being there at first but I want it to become eventually into the game. I'd love to see planet-based battalions. For example, let's just say Utapah is in the game along with Kashyyyk and Naboo. We already know Naboo and Kashyyyk is in the game, just I'm saying Utapah is in the game just for the hell of it for this example. The 501st could be specific to Naboo, the 41st could be exclusive to Kashyyyk, and the 212th could be exclusive to Utapah. That would be a lot of fun. And it would just be bring another thing to the game, saying now this is my trooper, this is my clone trooper, this is me. Not just a standard, everyday stormtrooper. They have a personality. Even though they're a clone, they have personalities that make them human, in a way. So yeah. Anyway... Do you agree with my list, or do you want other things in the game as well? Leave your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, blast a like, and all that good stuff. And if you are new, why don't you subscribe? For all things Star Wars, this is the First Order, signing out. Sector is clear. Not clear! Not clear!